so once again I returned with another prediction UFC 303 um, lots of drama uh, the main event was supposed to happen uh, between Conor McGregor and Chandler um, so the last minute they cancelled the fight because Conor got injured we all are aware about that now and also a uh, lot of fight got cancelled because the main event got cancelled so Dana had to uh, make last minute changes um, as, and they had to uh, arrange some fight that would be attractive enough so, so that whoever bought the ticket are compensated with the entertainment value so I think um, these fights actually worth it e, um, f and today we are going to um, give you guys a prediction my prediction of what is going to happen first um, let's start with the main card okay um, uh, the main card let's start with this, this bantamweight bout between Peyton Talbot versus Yanis Gemoru I'm not sure I uh, pronounced it pronounced it correctly or not um, however um, my prediction for this fight is uh, Peyton going to win because I <sighs> I didn't see much of his fights but I have seen his fights so um, that's why I'm a bit biased but uh, he is very good striker he is an extraordinary I don't even though I do not like him he has a very douchey personality however his striking and he is a natural striker natural fighter um, and I believe um, his striking is, is far better, better than Mr. Yanis and uh, I think Patton will going to win and keep maintaining his undefeated record then uh, let's go to Charles Jordan and Jen Silva my prediction is Charles uh, Charles has a uh, better experience and um, I think Charles is going to take it then uh, Cap Sonson Andre Philly and I think uh, between them Cap Sonson will Cap Sonson is my all-time favorite he has been giving uh, exciting exciting fights to us to us to enjoy he is a veteran in the sports i know philly philly is a good fighter however i think uh, cow is going to take it and once again uh, philly is a younger fighter cow, cow is uh, i mean he uh, he aged a lot um, he is near to his retirement age so who knows however my uh, in terms of experience Cav has more experience than Andre so I think Cav is going to take it then uh, Joe Pfeiffer and Mark Andre Barrault I'm not going to uh, I didn't watch them their fight that much so I'm not sure who is better so I'm going to skip this match and this is the actually my I am more excited to watch this this bout than the main event actually because this is so exciting uh, <laughs> Venom Page is a master of strike and, and his unorthodox style of striking is very hard to um, dominate if uh, I, we haven't seen any grappler 
dominate and uh, refute his style of striking because he's so light in his feet um, the loss he has actually against uh, better striker I would say uh, Diego Lima was a better striker who uh, defeated um, Venom Page however we haven't seen any kind of wrestler defeat him any kind of wrestler uh, out strike him or uh, outclass his striking abilities then again Iron Gary is a uh, undefeated uh, UFC fighter and he has a very very good wrestling so uh, if anyone can outclass Mike Michael Page is fighters like Iron Gary however uh, the fight is not going to start in the ground fight is going to start in the uh, striking position and standing up and and this is why this fight is so exciting uh, anything, anything can, can happen. happen however my uh, my support is with Michael Page I don't think I and Gary and Gary is going to uh, uh, get uh, upset and Michael Venom Page is going to take that uh, win and defeat Iron Gary via uh, knockout. Uh, because we haven't seen striking like this Michael Page uh, after Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy has similar unorthodox striking and we know how difficult it was to defeat Wonder Boy and Michael Venom Pages is striking is similar to that so this is a very very exciting bout and I think Michael Venom Page is going to win Then I don't know about these uh, female fighters I haven't seen them fight much so I can predict Anthony Smith, Roman Dolige uh, my uh, prediction is Roman is going to win because Roman has a very good wrestling and Anthony is really um, don't do well against good wrestlers. So my uh, my uh, prediction is Roman Dolize is is going to win via um, anonymous decision or um, submission. Then another fight that I am very excited of is Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. And I think Diego Lopez is going to win and the reason behind I am supporting a 14th ranked opponent versus, uh, versus a Brian Ortega who is third big due to the, the fact that Diego Lopez is a very very he is very underrated fighter I have seen uh, lots of his fights and he is a very good striker very good striker and he's very very strong and I think Diego Lopez is going to bring the upset and win against Brian Ortega. Then our main event, Alex Pereira versus Giri Prosaska. And my prediction is Alex Pereira is going to win again. I don't think Giri Prosaska uh, can uh, fight or remain uh, take the fight for, for uh, five rounds. Alex Pereira um, has a better striking. Uh, both are, uh, Jiri Prozaska also is a very good striker, but uh, Alex Pereira's striking ability surpass, surpasses Jiri's striking ability. Jiri drops his hand and his unorthodox uh, striking skills might work against um, mm, middle class uh, middle class or mid level strikers but alex Pereira is uh, Pereira's striking is in different level he is one of the top strikers in the whole ufc uh, and his striking is a sub part to uh, israel asania so uh, and he has a very he has the knockout power obviously so i think this time Alex Pereira is going to win again and once again this is a short notice fight uh, anything can happen however my uh, support and my prediction is with Alex Pereira and this is um, our prediction for UFC 
303. Thank you.